Welcome everyone <laughs> to our 18th session of uh, Facebook Live and uh, <laughs> <laughs> You forgot how you say it <laughs> We've been doing for 18th episode You forgot your name at the 18th yes, episode I'm Sangwa, yes I'm Piri And I'm Manson and we're from Isa Music Yay. Yay. So a little bit uh, more about Isa Music uh, We a primarily Chinese music instrument shop uh, that we sell instrument, we teach Chinese music instrument, we repair instrument as well as renting. So mm. remember that we actually rent Chinese <laughs> instruments such as hipa, guzheng, all this, as mm. well as gongs for your events. And speaking of events, we also do live performances yes. for events as well. Mm. Yes, and so every Friday at 5.30pm uh, we'll be doing a Facebook Live. And uh, the format of the Facebook Live uh, goes like this. First, we'll chit chat about um, the latest happenings in the Chinese orchestra scene. So for in, in the past one week, and uh, after that, we will share a little bit, um, some tips and tricks about some instruments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for today's live, the instrument that we're going to talk about is the Yang Qing. So I'll be sharing with you on the five things you need to take note of mm -hmm. when you're picking your Yang Qing. So other than the Yang Qing, we also have the new arrivals coming in this week, which is our rosin. So stay tuned to that as well. Yeah, Pirastro mm -hmm. rosin. Yes, yeah. Pirastro. <laughs> okay. So um, at the end of the session, we'll be doing a performance and this today's performance will be um, one of the songs from the hottest um, drama mm -hmm. from China at this point in time called Yi Jia Ren Zi Mi Yes, and the song will be, uh, it's called It Rain, alright? It's in Chinese, it's, it's a English, English song. song for Chinese drama, <laughs> for Chinese drama. <laughs> So welcome again to our 18th Live session. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay. Uh, what's up? Okay. So uh, what's up, lady? Late. So the new movie Mulan. Yes. Just came out. Mm -hmm. So why did I specifically <laughs> bring up Mulan? Is because <laughs> not only you, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so on social media, there's been a lot of buzz going on about mm -hmm. social uh, about Mulan. Mulan, good or bad. Mm -hmm. But actually. Uh, our friend over at Tingyi has been uh, invited to collaborate mm -hmm. with this movie. So actually, they've been playing the uh, soundtrack mm -hmm. for the latest Mulan movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So if you follow Tingyi, you know that the, credit the musicians <laughs> are very happy that they are featured. So they're yes, yes. So they yes. They'll be posting them, watching the show, and the ending credits. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you will see is all of them. Mm -hmm. And also thing. speaking of Tingyi, so uh, last Friday, mm -hmm. what well, pre COVID. Supposedly, they're going to have a concert last oh. Friday mm -hmm. uh, that features a lot of the uh, local composers' mm -hmm. work. So, uh, we just got news that they will be coding the same concert, but digitally and ticketed uh. in October. So, do check out their mm -hmm. page for more updates on this uh, upcoming concert. Mm. Okay, okay, what else? What else is new this one week? <laughs> oh, Musa! So, oh. Uh, what is Musa? Musa is <laughs> why don't you <laughs> say more a bit about Musa? Yeah. Why why don't you say more a bit? Uh, a bit more about okay, okay. Musa <laughs> I, mean, I mean if you go uh YouTube and uh Google Musa you'll see um a two, trio. Uh, mm. trio of um, um two of them. One 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 of them is playing the Kuta and the other one is playing the Tungra and yes. mm -hmm. um, the uh, guy would be playing um piano oh no keyboard. Yes. Yes. So they have a lot of compositions and mm. uh, they have a lot of uh, subscribers and they, I think their videos uh, have a lot of views. Yeah, quite, yeah. They, they do quite different well genres received, as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's been a long while since they released a uh, video. So, mm -hmm. so they have a new video, so go check them out at their yeah. YouTube page. Have you? I have not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not either. Yeah, mm -hmm. I but definitely we'll check out after this live. So we'll leave, leave a link at the description yes. as well. Yeah, and this <laughs> just came in. Uh, I just saw. Um, wow. Wow, breaking news! Wow. <laughs> breaking news. Gradual resumption of face-to-face -face CCA. Ooh. Okay, this is... Uh, so they're saying that we will ease the resumption of CCA slowly with some groups of pupils from physical sports from week 2 and some sports and performing arts CCA in week 3. So... Week yeah. 3? Is it like school weeks or...? Yeah, school week. When is week uh. three? <laughs> when is week one? <laughs> is I this the week one? It will be <laughs> or after exams, week like one. Semester two? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Choirs, clubs, and societies in Brownie CCA will resume face to face CCA in January 2021. Oh. Oh, that's good. Brownies, clubs, and societies. Uh, but but for us, what we're interested is <laughs> in is uh, Chinese orchestras and Kuchen ensembles. Uh, I suppose they'll be. They'll be uh, resuming in week 3, but week 3 or what week? Let me see. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> also January. Yeah, week 3 or 2022. Two, two, two. Huh? <laughs> Is it? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think it will be, it should be quite soon. Uh. <laughs> yeah. 
Probably it's in term three. Term three. Are we in term three already? Well, when is term schooling? three? Term four? Term four, uh, yeah. Term four? Oh, but wow. you uni then. So is it semester two, semester one? When, when is <laughs> what? Anyway, uh, it's going to be soon. Uh, if not, they will not, uh, they will not release this, this piece of news. Alright? Yes. yes. So, that's all we have for updates <laughs> for the last, past one week. Mm -hmm. So, what are we talking about today again? Yes, so today we'll be talking about Yang Qing, as oh, you can yes, see. Yes. <laughs> so, so, today's session will be about uh, how to pick uh, Yang Qing and uh, of course, uh, the person sharing this would be uh, Anson. And for those of you who do not know Anson, um, <laughs> he is actually the Yang Qing specialist uh, in uh, Eastern music. And uh, he does all the fixing and uh, does all the tuning of the Yang Qing. And he also teaches Yang Qing. Yay. And yeah, and congratulations. I heard that you uh, just, your two of the students just got selected for uh, DSA. Not selected for DSA. <laughs> got in a uh, secondary school and a uh, Junior college through DSA, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, they, uh, um, we can talk about DSA more <laughs> next time. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. But yeah. basically, they auditioned for the school of their choice using Yang Qing as part of their DSA, so they got it. I'm really happy about yeah, it. Yeah, that, that, that's really uh, they worked hard. rare actually. <laughs> they worked hard. They worked hard. Yeah, and so also a good Yang Qing help. I'm oh, really sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, mm. tell us about how to pick a good Yang Qing. I would like to know also because I don't know how to pick one. <laughs> also. Okay. So first of all, Yang Qing is a really versatile instrument. Uh, it's it has a really wide range note wise. So the bass note to the high note is really wide, and it's also one of those instruments that's actually required to play uh, separate melody lines. So the melody and the accompaniment lines, right? So that's why the Yang Qing actually earned the title. Chinese piano. Hello everyone, I'm Anson and I'm a young team player here in Eastern Music. In this video, I will be sharing with you 6 things you need to take note of before purchasing a Yang Qing. Let's get right into it. The first thing you need to know before getting a Yang Qing is to know the brand of the Yang Qing. Unlike the Erhu, Di Zi, Pipa or Liu Qing for example, the Yang Qing is primarily produced in a big music instrument factory. So some of the common brands for Yang Qing that's in the market right now are Yue Hua, Yue Hai, Xing Hai, Tian Tan, Yue Sheng, and the up-and-coming Ying Song Lan brand. Each brand offer different perks and edge, for example, in terms of pricing, design, and workmanship. There are a few brands that we carry here in Eastern Music, so do check out our web store at easternmusicstore.com or visit our physical store at CityUp2 to find out what young things we currently have. The second tip that I have for you is to understand the purpose of getting a young thing. There are a few reasons why you want to get the Yang Qing and knowing the purpose that the Yang Qing serve you will help you narrow down your option and also to get a better idea of the pricing you have in this option group. Here are a few reasons why you want to get a Yang Qing. Will you be using it for grading exams? Are you using it for competitions, solo performances, concertos or outdoor performances? Or is it just solely for recreational purposes? Of course, these are just general questions that you need to ask yourself before getting a Yang Qing. And here in Eastern Music, we will try our best to help you find the right Yang Qing for you. The next tip I have for you is to know what kind of wood you want. Much like the Erhu, different wood gives the instrument different characteristic, tone color and sound quality. The most commonly used wood in making the Yang Qing are Se Mu, Hua Li Mu, Hong Mu, Lao Hua Li, Lao Hong Mu, and Zi Tan Mu. For example, Hua Li Mu is widely used in making Yang Qing. So, uh, Hua Li Mu Yang Qing has a good sound quality, nice tone color, it's rich and it resonates well. Knowing the wood of the Yang Qing also helps you determine what color your Yang Qing would be in. So, for example, the Hong Hua Li Mu will 
give the yangqing a reddish color, whereas the lao hua li would give the yangqing a brown or woody color to it, and the zi han yangqing will give you a deep violet color. This also brings us to the fourth tip of this video. The fourth tip you need to know while purchasing a yangqing is to always inspect the finishing or the craftsmanship of the yangqing. The yangqing is a complex instrument made up of different components such as the strings, the fine tuning rollers, the tuning pins and bridges. Even though we mentioned that the yangqing is primarily produced in a music factory, there are components that are put together by humans as well. Here are a few things you need to look out for when buying the yangqing. The most obvious thing you can do is to check the paint job of the yangqing. Do look out for any air bubbles or whether it is evenly painted. Next, open up the covers. Inspect the tuning pins. Use a tuning wrench that usually comes with the yangqing and do a quick check to see if there's enough space for the wrench to fit through. A well-made yangqing will also have substantial space between the tuning pins and the bridge itself. This helps in coiling the yangqing in a downward direction. And speaking of strings, here's the next thing you need to check out. A good yangqing will have the strings coiled downwards, meaning when you tighten the tuning pins, the strings will progress downward. This affects the stability of the strings. After inspecting the tuning pins and the strings, pay attention to the bridge. Are they too close together? Or are they too slanted where it affects your playing? The general rule is that the first three bridges from the right are 10 cm apart from each other, while the last bridge is 14 cm away from the third bridge. Do take note that the bridges are usually angled slightly to follow the shape of the yangqing. Next, pay attention to the fine tuning rollers at the side of the instrument. They are usually situated in the center of the sideboard and as it progress upward, it follows the angle of the sideboard. But do take note that this differs from maker. So just make sure that it's generally in the center of the sideboard. Next, you need to play the instrument and find if there's any buzzing sound on the instrument. Buzzing sounds are usually created when the strings are sticking too close to each other or there are some metal parts that's touching each other. The last thing you need to do is to make sure that the yang qin is easy to tune. Some maker actually has really tight tuning pins where some are too loose. So always talk to your local sellers to find out whether the yang qin is easy to tune because they have to tune the yang qin before they sell it out. Yes, there are a lot of things to take note of when inspecting the yang qin. But we want you to know that here in Isa Music, we work with the best maker out there and we heavily scrutinize our yang qin to make sure they have no issue before putting it out for sale. So for our viewers who already have their own yang qin and they found problems on the yang qin such as the buzzing sounds or bridges that's too slanted or the strings are not coiled downwards for example, we want you to know that all these problems can be fixed. So you can just contact us and we can let you know how they can be fixed. The fifth thing you need to know when purchasing a yang qing is to know how a yang qing should sound like. It is a really subjective matter, but the general rule of thumb is the bass of the yang qing should sound thick body and resonating. The middle range of the yang qing should sound clean and clear, whereas the high note of the yang qing should sound bright. Of course, the overall projection or overall sound of the instrument shouldn't just be loud and projective, it also has to be rounded, controlled and contained. So just imagine it as a pro. It's round, it's bright and it's clear. And you don't want to have a yang qing that sounds like a shattering glass or glass breaking. A good yang qing will have each range sounding distinct or easy to tell apart. As you know, the yang qing is a large instrument with a huge range and players are required to play the accompaniment and the melody lines at the same time. So it is good if your yang qing has the sound quality that is able to tell apart the notes or range instead of having everything muddied together or jumbled up or blended in together. So the yang qing that I'm currently using in this video is Yue Hai Da Guo Zi Tan Yang Qing. Let's give it a listen.
Yangqing players are also known to have high dexterity and nimbleness when playing fast passages. So for the Yangqing to sound clear, clean and contained is really essential. Let's hear how it sounds like on this Yangqing. Of course, the clarity of the music comes from the player's own mastery of the instrument. Having a good yangqing or having a good instrument helps further brings out the best in a player. The last tip I have for you in this video is to always, always try out your yangqing. Knowing all the tips that we discussed earlier is no use if you can't experience the yangqing yourself. Play it loudly, play it softly, play fast passages, play slow, long passages in order to know the full capability of your Yang Qing. So for our overseas viewers who wish to purchase a Yang Qing from us, don't hesitate to talk to us to ask for a demonstration of the instrument and also to discuss further on any delivery options. We want you to have the best for your Yang Qing. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that this video has been helpful. Do check out our web store at easymusicstore.com or visit our physical store at CityHub2 to find out the Yangqing and all the other instruments that we carry. Visit our school music website at easymusicschool.com if you wish to learn Chinese music instrument. And lastly, of course, feel free to approach us at our Facebook or through WhatsApp for further inquiries. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, I have a question. Uh... Okay. So the purpose, just now you say the purpose. So what purpose would, uh, would you... What kind of qing was to what purpose? Okay, so uh, I own two yang qings. Okay, so one yang qing is for like solo or concert concerto use. So mm -hmm. when I for my solo yang qing, right, uh, it's a lao hua li mu. So uh, I look for like what I mentioned, like the bass note and the high notes must be able to hear distinctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's for uh, the concert use, uh, mostly indoors. Whereas uh, <laughs> usually during uh, our live sessions or even our outdoor or uh, mm. event, those gigs, right? I use shiba. <laughs> the it's a mid mid range sort mm. of instrument. Uh, yeah. So it uh, I buy, don't buy something too expensive because I have to bring it outdoor because mm. outdoor right is like exposed to the elements, so it will like deteriorate the wood of the instrument. So I wouldn't choose something too expensive for outdoor performances. So, so just have to make sure because accompaniment wise, I have to play a lot of bass notes or mid range. So I'll try to find something, uh, the bass note is still like rich and full bodied, whereas I don't really pay attention, too much attention to the high notes. Okay. For someone mm. that is going to take uh, examinations, mm -hmm. Nafa or term examinations, uh, mm. so if they take uh, like like advanced level seven to diploma, mm -hmm. they will require a better one so that you can. Yes, distinct. definitely because uh, like for diploma grades, right? And they play this a lot of this sort of like high low, then playing a lot of things like. You need to, it's not saying like cliche like or oh, going high grades mean higher grade exam means you need to have a good instrument because there is really like sort of like a that you can like mm -hmm. a good instrument having a good yang qing is like really a good starting point for you and it really helps you with your playing out. Of course, it boils down to the mastery of the instrument on individual players, but having a good yang qing like gives you a better starting point. Mm. Is that more question? question? Uh, comment. Okay. Sometimes the strings are so near to the bridge mm -hmm. that when the strings by the bridge, you can hear the strings hitting the wood. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So when you're... Oh, sorry. Uh, you can hear that z sound or <laughs> sighing when Anson was playing the bass of the more expensive Yang Qing. Yeah, because I have my tuning wrench on the Yang Qing. Yeah, so, uh, yes, thank you, I missed out one point. So when you're buying Yang Xing, right, also when you're testing, you have to make sure there's no buzzing sound also. And there's a lot of factors that brings it, that causes this buzzing sound. 
Yeah, more questions? Okay, so there's more. Uh, there's a lot of things that causes buzzing sound. Like for example, like what uh, our viewer mentioned, like the strings are too close together, and like that. Like for example, my <laughs> tuning wrench was on it, so it vibrates with the metal part. So. There's a buzzing sound here, right? Then I have to make sure, like, oh, if any strings are too close together, or like, is there something the, like the felt is not um, absorbing the uh, the vibration, or whether the strings are touching the bridge, all these sort of things. So, before we send out, we definitely have to check for uh, this all these small little things that can be fixed. Yes. Any questions? <laughs> are we cool? I well, if you have more questions, you can definitely leave your comments. Uh, in the description or in the comment box even after our life ends and we'll definitely answer your questions yes or you can just drop us an email mm -hmm. or whatsapp us and mm -hmm. we'll get back to you as that's soon as we can that's right alright yes, so, so <laughs> that's really a lot of things to share thank so, you Anson for yeah don't worry if you if uh, we are unclear about anything don't forget to just comment or approach us we'll definitely help you out with your questions okay thank so, you <laughs> thank you thank you Okay, so uh, for the next segment, uh, we just want to roughly, uh, very briefly show you what uh, came yes. came uh, in the, the, <coughs> the past week. Um, so what came in is, is uh, these uh, rosins from uh, Pirastro. Pirastro is a, mm. it's a German company that makes uh, very good rosins and yes. strings. And they are from, um, and they're, they're, they're made mostly for uh, violins. Yes, violin, so cello, we, bass. Yes, yes. And so we, uh, Erhu, you know that Erhu uses uh, violin rosins uh, very much mm. rather than our own uh, Erhu rosins. <laughs> so could you tell us what came in more? I think um, mainly I would say like Priya Show, um, they, they state that they are high quality rosin actually is perfect for bowing without scratchy sound. So I think when we are playing Erhu or like Erhu players, they will tend or like beginners, they will tend to feel like eh, there's some scratchy sound. So maybe with the rosin actually helps and make the scratchy sound less, I guess. <laughs> yes, mm. usually we will uh, recommend that we use uh, Pirastro rosins uh, mm. rather than the rosins that come with the Erhu. Yes, I think an, an important aspect would be you should know like how your strings are like for your Erhu and maybe other string instruments. So the string actually made a lot of um, how to say like factors factor mm. into like when you choose your rosin. So we would start with our rosin chart as, and we will showcase our rosin that is um, for beginners I think for beginners you'll be you tend to choose those um, it's more on like on the okay so on the rosin chart right so there's the hard on the hard um, rosin end and the soft rosin end so maybe uh, when you're looking out for your um, rosin you can use this chart to see which one is the best that suits your um, string instrument so first of all like what mm. you have on your hand is a very fundamental and beginner pra Piran Nito? Piranito. <laughs> Piranito yeah, so rosin. This, this mm. is uh, the lowest end of a uh, Pirastro it's rosin. It's rosin for beginners. Like. Yes, mm. so we use this uh, quite a lot. And it's in the square box, unlike the other one. So the next one will be the Schwartz, which is in the black color one. Uh -huh. Yeah, the round. Yeah, so this is uh, actually the hard. Uh, so you see the chart, it's on the hard end, the rosin. So it's good for steel strings. So for all who maybe, mm. um, other than using the square box one, the next one that people tend to will be the black um, sh shorts rosin. So you're saying mm. that this one is very good for steel strings, which most, almost all of who is steel yeah. strings. So this mm. is good. Very suitable. Then the next one will be the olive one, which is in the dark green. And it's on the soft, um, soft rosin side. So meaning that it is low dust forming. Mm -hmm. okay? And it produces big sound, gri good grip with low noise. And it's yeah. well suited for... Um, Gut strings or like synthetic skin, uh, synthetic shrinks. Yeah. Okay, this mm. this rosin, uh, we use it quite often. Mm. Um, it's like um, between the swords and the olive. Um, I think olive is uh, has better grip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but some people uh, prefer that one because they don't want it to be so Lovely. so grippy and so um, sticky. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So the next one would be. I think one of the two fancy <laughs> like rosin that we have, which is one is the gold one and one is the gold flakes one. So mainly the gold one, when you open it, it's orange color and it's well suited for gold guard strings. And the gold flakes one is actually mixed. It's a harder rosin that is mixed with gold flakes. 
Uh, so when you maybe it's for general use. So when you mm. see there's like dots and like gold flakes inside the rosins, ah. Okay, yeah. frankly, I've not used this before, so I but don't it looks know how. Very beautiful inside. Yeah, I don't know how it will it will <laughs> sound. sound. Uh. Yeah. So, so anyone that actually used this before yeah. can comment below and let us know as well. Yeah, yeah. maybe I can ask Chen Xing, Chen Xing over here. Chen Xing. Yeah. So Chen Xing uh plays the. Uh, Wu. So, which one of these uh, have you used before? I used the olive. Yeah, what do you think of them? Uh, the shorts is... The olive is easier to apply. Okay. For me, I believe that it produces more powder. And from the chart itself, you can see that olive is actually... The soft. Yeah, very mm. end on the soft side. So, mm. it will be easier to apply and then... I feel like the sound it produces is more rough. Because it's the more more powder it produces. Mm. And the shorts itself is tougher, that's why... I believe that the sound it produces is much smoother. It's very really difficult to apply. Mm. So for me, I will put the shorts in on Kao Hu and okay. the olive on Tao Hu and Zhong Hu. Ah. Mm, mm. Have you used this before? Go flex and uh, Rosin? No, I've never tried it. So <laughs> ah. Maybe sometime in the future. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one day we should open one and, uh, and do a testing. Oh, uh. that's ah, cool. Okay. okay, so the next two will be the cello, especially for cello one. Yeah. So, so one is the cello, cello. Uh, it's a cherry weight one and it's a harder rosin for cello and the Celestro, yeah, it's a soft. Is it? Ch Ch Chelisto, Chelisto maybe. Yeah, Chelisto. <laughs> yeah, this this one is more on the softer side. So I think um, celloists can ch uh, like choose between. Chelis. Chelis. Oh my god! So sorry. <laughs> Chelis can choose <laughs> one of like these two to use. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. So that's all for me. Yes. The what? Which one? This one, the red one. Yeah. yeah. Reeling says that the Reeling red one is, one is brighter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so that's what came in the past week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and very quickly we'll move on to our last segment which is our performance. So give us a few seconds while we set up. Okay, so uh, we're playing this song called uh, If Rain from the very popular um, song, I, I mean drama. Chinese drama called uh, Yi. Okay, why, <laughs> why did we choose this song? Okay, actually <laughs> yeah, I chose this song. And because uh, my, my kids and my in-laws, oh. they are very crazy over this, oh. uh, this uh, drama. So I watched with them also and uh, yeah, I find that it is quite, quite a nice drama. And uh, actually the I Zhou Kang or Yu Zhou Kang features the, the three leads. Oh. So it's actually a very popular song. If you have not seen it, what have you been doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've been busy working, yeah. Yeah. practicing, okay. practicing. So uh, yeah, P U P V will um, <laughs> we'll be singing, yes. All right, so here goes. So, so dreams fade to go. No telling where they go Will you slumber? Slowly flows I still care It's not fair We ain't never Come back in time Wish they would never hide Rain Drop down on my face Someday we will be brave 
enjoyed this episode. Mm-hmm. And if you want to know, uh, find out more on uh, our previous contents, you can follow us on our YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Mm-hmm. And also drop us a like if you enjoyed the episode. And today. subscribe to us. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. lastly, I'm Anson. I'm Rayling. I'm Pigu. I'm Sangwa. And, and we're from Eason Music. Yes. See you next, See you next episode. Bye bye. Bye bye.